You know, doing this one thing will help you with acne and inflammation. If you're struggling with acne, you need to accept the fact that your body is struggling with inflammation, right? If you're struggling with acne, I want you to look at these cases of the one program. Look at what her skin used to be like and look at what it is right now. And all of this was possible without isotroin, OCPs and any sort of antibiotics. But you know what? One common thing that has helped in resolving the acne 100% is achieving stable blood sugar levels, which is actually pretty easy to do. This means that they've swapped their morning fruit smoothies and poha and dosa and upma and all of that with fat and protein for breakfast. Constant binging on makhanas or oat biscuits or energy bars as snacks was swapped with nuts, seeds and a little bit of dates or dark chocolate. Good quality dark chocolate. Starting their day with tea and toast and parathas was swapped with rituals like fat first. Eating high carb snacks and meals without balancing your protein and fat ratio will cause your blood sugar to constantly go up and insulin has to jump in, right? This entire process is nothing but low grade inflammation, which aggravates acne. And this is not just my opinion, this is science. Second, high levels of insulin, right? They're going to increase the activity of a hormone called IGF-1. Now, this is directly linked to increasing low-grade inflammation and it also increases the size and the number of oil glands that makes your skin a favorable environment for acne. Trust me, I know this because as a teenager, I've struggled so much with acne. I used to have back acne, acne, acne around my underarms. It used to be really painful, right? So doing these small things has made a massive difference. I've also had a very on and off relationship with isotroin. So I get this entire thing. And I know this sounds surprising, but using food as first line of action and making minor tweaks is often what we need to do.